Andreas, what is endoscopy? That's a very good question. I, I think that patients frequently don't really understand when we're talking to them about endoscopy. When it comes to upper endoscopy, which is what we usually do when we're talking about pancreatic or biliary diseases, it's a procedure at which we get the patients in the hospital. Frequently, we do this as an outpatient, and we go through the mouth to take a look inside of their esophagus, stomach, small bowel. Depending on the type of endoscope that we use, it's going to depend the type of study that we're going to be doing. Endoscopy can be divided in different types depending on the scope. We have the regular EGD scope, the upper endoscopy, which we go with the front viewing camera, meaning that the camera is at the very tip of the scope, and we can look directly at the esophagus, stomach, and small bowel. Then we have deep endoscopy, which is also called push enteroscopy, that we use a longer scope, and we can look a little bit further down from the small bowel in the first part, second part, third part, and fourth of the duodenum, and get into the jejunum, which is the second part of the small bowel. Remember, we have the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. That's how we divide the small bowel. And then we have deep enteroscopy, or single or assisted enteroscopy, single balloon, double balloon, spirals, and new technologies that you can get really, really far down, and in occasions you can go all the way down to the colon. Then we have advanced therapeutic procedures with upper endoscopy as well, like endoscopic ultrasound, ERCP, which stands for endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatoscopy. And here we're using side viewing scopes, meaning that the camera, it's on the side of the scope, and it's a little bit of a more complex procedure. Thank you.